So display fonts can be exactly what you need in order to tell the perfect story for your next project. So let me share my favorite ones that I've gathered these last couple months. And speaking of gathered assets, as always, check out the everything pack, the first link in the description down below, of course, followed by the all fonts you see in this video here today. But it's my one time purchase product that when you do purchase it, you get everything on my self by store, plus all future products for free and free commercial uses. Insane. If you did not know, now you know. Let's get into the video though. First font is known as Outward. This typeface offers three different weights of negative space feeling goodness. I will always be a fan of condensed fonts because they allow for words that have a high character amount, fit in tighter dimensions, and command the area. The overall vibe I feel would work in different projects and easily has like a pattern type texture for posters. It's a dope font and like an easy pickup. Next would be NeoPixel. Not often do you come across a mono typeface influence with a futuristic element involved with it too. Although many times they do go kind of hand to hand, but I can see for like space projects, tech, any sort of like future setting, this font being a really cool addition to your font library. And for being free for personal and commercial use, like the many fonts in today's video, it's unreal how amazing people are to share things like this for free. Yeah, isn't it crazy how like amazing people are? Just saying. However, though, since we're on the topic of futuristic fonts, let me introduce Kaika to you. One of the only free for personal use fonts, not commercial in today's video, but I think this stylish modern typeface has confidence, but also a fairly great font pair with our previous showcase being NeoPixel. Kaika being the heading font and like NeoPixel being the subtext font would honestly bring a pretty cool, unique look together. But with Kaika's use cases for like headlines or logos and just like an overall just standout look, it's a super clear pickup for your possible next project. Up next is Slice. Now, all this type face at first glance might seem like a very specific font use case. I think it has tremendous value being free for commercial use, first of all, but also not many typefaces look like this. I can see my apparel designers loving this font with its legible, almost paper receipt like inspiration, but also I really enjoyed the urban feeling I got when actually sharing this mock-up that I saw in the actual showcase of the basketball court and like the font is featured as like a treatment behind it. Tell me like right now that you can't see like a sports brand, maybe like Nike for instance, kind of use this as like a just do it or like a cool campaign. I, I don't, I can see it. I don't know. Regardless, call me crazy, but I might be using this in my future. Who knows? But what I do know is that Unique is up next. Unique is a typeface that I believe everyone should have at least a few of. For one, it has a very friendly face where it could be very popular with branding and packaging design, but it also literally comes with seven free variable weights. That's literally insane. Not to mention a full character size of accents and punctuations. It's totally an easy choice if you're in the market for something friendly and bold. But following something unique has to come with Thunder. I, I don't know. Thunder is the next font. But Thunder is a classic condensed font that regularly gets forgotten because of its similar influence with other newer typefaces today. But with its 36 styles, multiple language support, numbers, symbols, punctuation, the literal the whole thing, you may not even notice how much this font carries a lot of brands. It's classic, elegant with like certain styles, bold and very easy to use. Well worth the reminder if you guys forgot about it, but if it's new to you, you're welcome. And now, of course, just so I can leave you guys with the most variety possible, here are some additional showcases of fonts that I'm just gonna speed run because maybe I just don't know what to say, so I wanna speed run it. But here they are. Fluidic, it's a super dope typeface that's very bold and has a really cool, unique style to it. Valverde, the elegance and almost like vintage vibes speak for themselves. And if it's common for you to work with these type of brands, I think it's a super dope pickup. Anthel, it's like another font that I think just really nothing looks like it, but also has a really cool retro and beautiful bold look to it. And lastly is New Mexico. I think everyone should have a typeface that has these really cool deep ink traps because they're actually perfect for being legible in like the smallest letter form, but also just kind of has a cool style to it as well if you're into it. And with that, that's the end of today's video here today. So as always, a font the description down below to download. You can either download them all singularly or you can download the entire bundle and just like, of course, share credit, show love to the actual artists themselves. I love y'all. I appreciate that you love me. I'm also making something right here. Thoughts? No? Okay. But yeah, do not forget to check out the everything pack, sshq.com, description down below if you wanna check it out as well. It's basically my one-time purchase, free products for life. It's literally too good. And I always think about why I do it, but I'm happy I did. With that being said, SSHQ out, so don't forget to keep smiling, stay positive, and stay freaking productive, guys. I much love, peace, enjoy your day.